and I definitely need to redo this closet because it's so big and deep it swallows so much stuff to do welcome to tiny tiny Tuesday tiny tidy Tuesday my goodness Sunday dawn <laughs> that is a tough name anyway thank you so much for being here today it is tiny tidy Tuesday and I am on my second project for today I started in my medicine cabinet so I'll show you an after of that you saw it before on my channel and it was working at one point, it wasn't working anymore, so that's when we tiny tidy something. Thank you so much for being here. This is a open collaboration hosted by the lovely, the fearless leader, Sunday Dawn from The Helpful Home and all the other contributors. We have the tiny tidy team and we also have people pop in every now and then. So as you can see, I have got my closet pretty much emptied out. I've got some things up here that are just gonna stay. They're for the Kirby. I know what they are, I am letting the bleach water spray sit on these very beat up <laughs> shelving units here. Um, I know I should probably fix those. Maybe we'll get to painting at some point, but not today. Uh, I'm gonna show you the things that I pulled out of here and I definitely need to redo this closet because it's so big and deep, it swallows so much stuff. And I forget what's here. We have cleaning stuff in here and everything. So it needs to have a little bit more order. Down below I put, <laughs> you're getting my mic. <laughs> Down below I put my utility stuff, the broom, the mop, that all in the side there after the baby gate and that kind of works. The Kirby vacuum I never want to take out because the laundry's in front of it. So anyway, you know, if it takes too much time to get it out and it's not that easy to put back, it's not going to get put back. That's just the way it is. So anyways, thanks for being here. Let's get a little bit of a shot of what we have going on the floor and try to make a plan for this closet because I really need this to work a little bit better. So let's turn the camera around and show you the giant mess before the prog pro progress. <laughs> Here, this is not something I'm going to store in here anymore because the oil to these lanterns, I don't know if, you know, in your part of the country you have to worry about power outages. We don't have it too often, but I like to have lights and things on the main floor, but I'm not going to store the oil anymore because that is what's stinking up this closet. And a, apparently a power cord. I don't know what the association of that was. No power. Let's have a power cord. I have no idea. It maybe just got put there. You know how it is bulbs that go to my little bulb set that goes on the porch um i guess we're keeping that there because it was delicate and we have all these bulbs like we changed a lot over to led i guess this is just the package i don't even know oh and apparently we're gonna break some in the progress <laughs> in the process here <laughs> anywho um got a couple other usable ones so i think i was just trying to keep them safe but they don't look safe anymore I just recently got some of this leather care, which I thought this was a great price, great price, because we use it all the time. If you've seen my videos, we like to take care of our leather. So this is your, um, you know, leather polish, leather cleaner, um, protector and all that stuff inside this little box. So four bucks, can't beat that. <laughs> this, I don't even know why this is in here. Frank it's so awkward. It's an elephant ear washer. I know, if you know, you know. Um, <laughs> I got kids, so I do that. These are used 
towels. I don't know. That's there. Here's it goes to the carpet machine. So let's get that back up there before it gets lost. So all that's really curvy stuff. And that's fine that it's that high. I don't really use those attachments that much. Um, they might get decluttered at some point, but for now, they're there. Let's see, we've got some candles. I didn't have another place to store them, so I might have to find something a little bit better. And then again, more bulbs, more light bulbs, tea lights down there. This fills our water machine, so that makes sense that that's here. We've got some stain busters that probably should go with the with the um, Kirby stuff as well. And that's a shampooer and a vacuum, just in case you're wondering why it all says carpet care. <laughs> Two little twist on brushes to our, you know, toilet brushes. I don't know, but those ones are clean. I <laughs> just have to flip, store them somewhere. Um, this is my cleaning caddy. I'll bring it to church. I'll bring it to, you know, what if I need to go help someone clean or if I just need to clean my own house. These are my kids' goggles. <laughs> and little toy <laughs> um always something fun here on our channel we have a real life house <laughs> so here are some of the products that i have i love folex oh wait any other folex lovers out there um and some other products that i really enjoy and love so that's probably going to stay quite the same I probably am going to keep one of these when the kids are sick. It's a humidifier. If you know anything about it, this one has seen better days. I don't know why. We clean it before we put it away, but I don't know why it looks so scuzzy. Ooh. Anyways, they only last so long. Here's some more of my cleaners. <laughs> this was such a great price. I could not pass it up. We usually like to do as um, good, as good and clean products as we can. Sometimes my kids help, so I put the disinfecting one in this bathroom, and they've been using this to spray, and I haven't been worried about it getting on their hands. This one, I don't even know what's in some of these, so that's going to be something. Oh, Bonami. Bonami needs to be in here. You know what? I just scrubbed the toilet. That's why that is the best abrasive, <laughs> and it was so cheap at the store, so. Oh. Here's the oxy additive for the carpet. See, I'm finding all these things spot remover. They all go up here. They've been put out of place for so long. There they go. They're in their home. Sorry for the spinning. Here's my Lexol. This is our leather cleaner. Empty bottle. It needs to be filled up again. Our old English. Love Murphy's oil. Oh, I use that like on my floors all the time. <laughs> Just give them a little shine and it lasts forever. So it's a good price per unit I don't even know how long we've had that one a long time these are the I know they look horrible but <laughs> these are the mats or the pads that go to all the mops and things that we have in the closet so these are pretty much going to stay the same they're going to go up in there after I wipe that bleach out of there that will be good bleach spray mirror <laughs> I don't even know this container is supposed to have rags in it the clean Clorox rags that I use for cleaning all the time. Yes, and um, apparently some decor I didn't feel like putting away. And the side to a fan, I don't know, and a vacuum bag to a vacuum I bought when we got married. We've been married 12 years, so yep. Thank you, happy anniversary to us, I know. <laughs> but I got rid of that vacuum and now we have a bag randomly. So anyway, with a spin around, we've got some crazy mess in here, lots of stuff. I do like kind of how this is organized down here. We've got, oh, except for all that stuff hiding, let's go get that and hopefully get some new order. Don't really mind this bottom area looking this mangy. I know it looks crazy. I do want to eventually get some that will hook up here, but I haven't found what I want yet to make that work. I got kids, so they're probably not even going to click it there anyway, but they can, like when they get the broom, you know, shove it down there. Like they can do that. So it can look as crazy as possible as long as it gets put back. <laughs> but if I try to set something up neat that no one can handle, it's not going to help anybody.
grand reveal. Um, well, first, <laughs> we're with the Tossy Tossy pile. Got a whole bunch of stuff down there that needs to go. Opened up the box of the cleaner and actually found out there's wood polish in there. That's pretty cool. Can't wait to try that out. Um, this is going, it's too dingy for me. I've got some decor that needs to be put away. That is laundry, so though I might want to throw it away, actually. I have to wash it. You know, you know. <laughs> Took out my vacuum so you can get the gist. Got the broom and some other equipment that we use here. And this baby gate, though it's not very beautiful, it does keep it to the side until I can get something um, like I would like in the side there. But we've already talked about that. So it looks nice. I kept this spray here for easy access for my kids so they're not trying to pull it out of here with all the chemicals. You know, they can use this spray when they're trying to clean up um, in here. I don't have any of my cloths clean. They're coming out of the wash, but I put my magic racers in here. Then there's all the mop pads. There is the one um, humidifier. And then we have my big caddy. And I actually took something out of here so I could get my hand <laughs> on it and pull it out easily because I need to be able to get that out easily to move it from place to place. I didn't show you this earlier, but this is all the attachments to my vacuum and the charger. So it's easy to get to. As you can tell, I like baskets, <laughs> especially in this deep closet. This little poofa I just put on my um, broomstick whenever I need it. But uh, for now, she's going to sit up here with the bulbs and apparently the extra toilet brushes. I don't know when the toilet brushes go bad. I guess whenever they're gunky. I don't know. But I've got spare ones. For whatever reason, I got my bleach spray way up high. And this is safe. Uh, I think this is like Thrive or something. It's tub and tile. It's really Grove, Grove, maybe Grove. Um, really safe, but I just keep it up here for because it's glass. And then I have this multi-purpose that I will put thieves in. Behind there is all the cleaner for the Kirby and such. In here, this basket, I put like all the wood polish, Murphy's included, Murphy oil, leather polish, all the fun stuff that came in that little box. So I'll have that handy dandy when I need it and all the other Kirby stuff that was there before Kirby bags and so on and so forth so anyway that looks nice just for a little bit of work and my Norwex dusting cloths are still there and all that so once I throw this away put these in the garage we're all done <laughs> so that was a great um, productive tiny tidy and I hope that you got some encouragement if you tiny side tiny tidied something today would you let me know in the comments below I always enjoy that see you in the next video tiny tidy or another one we'll catch you later bye